Yeah, we're here at Burning Tree Country Club in, in Greenwich, Connecticut. The course was built in 1962, um, and it was an original Hale Purdy design. Um, starting about, about three or four years ago, Trip Davis and his associate, Jack Spicanic, came onto the property and uh, got us moving in the direction that we're going today to modernize the course, uh, rebuilding tees, bunkers, and greens. In the spring of 2015, we had a chemical contamination that affected our greens, and we chose the option of rebuilding our greens uh, we had old push-up greens, they did not drain well, we had shade issues. Uh, as, as we were picking up green speeds, we, we did not have many pin placements on a lot of greens. So the club made the decision to um, completely rebuild and redesign. All the tees are rebuilt, they're um, bent grass. Fairways, we, we try to encourage bent grass, but there's quite a bit of poa out there too. Um, greens, we have three-year-old, uh, rebuilt USGA greens um, of pure distinction bent grass. So, so when we started going through our greens issues with, where we knew we had to do something dramatic to, uh, to, to bounce back from, from the um, damage we had from the chemical contamination, I contacted Dr. Rogers, uh, my old advisor from Michigan State University right away. Um, when I told him that we were looking at rebuilding and going to bent grass, he had um, recently done a greens renovation with Aaron McMasters from Orchard Lake Country Club. Uh, I flew out and looked at his greens in late June and I felt they were some of the most beautiful bent grass greens I've ever seen and it was a really easy decision to, uh, to get on board with Dr. Rogers and Aaron McMasters and, and uh, go with the pure distinction. Well I've been working with it pretty steadily since 2012 okay so uh, um, I've become very familiar with it and I'm very impressed with its ability to take a short mowing height. And I think a lot of varieties do that, but this one stays particularly dense. And that density plays a big role in uh, helping us to uh, ward out annual bluegrass. So I think with, combined with that density and the um, nice texture that you see, the fine leaf blade, it's a pretty nice variety. And um, so these guys can get a pretty good daily green speed without a whole lot of effort and uh, that's important both financially and for the health of the plant. Yeah, the, the membership understood the importance of opening up some of those uh, greens complexes to get airflow and, and sunlight and in, in the process of doing that we've opened up some beautiful vistas on the course that, that were feeling really claustrophobic and you, you couldn't get a good view of, uh, of multiple holes at the same time. Now as we do that, I think the members are getting the benefit of having some beautiful views out here, not only for the health of the grass, but also for the playing uh, experience. I'm, I'm, I'm easing in. There's a little bit of a learning curve to these bent grass greens, starting to get comfortable easing off on the fungicides a little bit. Um, water management is, is uh, much easier. Um, it, it also, the bent grass demands uh, more sunlight. It responds to uh, the warm, warm weather better. So any areas that are kind of our trouble greens, uh, we're trying to, uh, where we can, clear trees out, give it a little bit, a uh, little bit of help. Uh, but after this will be our third season going into them, and I think we're starting to get a pretty good handle on the cultural practices. I'm never one to think that I have all the answers, but I, I think I'm pretty good at finding the answers and and having a resource like Dr. Rogers that's um, I, I I can keep in touch with be, be, between him and the other. Um, resources I've, I've um, met through the GCSAA. Um, there's just no shortage of people that help in this industry.